Rational function application. Question 12. The football booster bought pizza for $1.900 to sell at the game. They kept 8 pizzas to feed the players after the game and sold the rest for $1.1040. There were 8 slices in each pizza. Their profit was 50 cents a slice. How many pizzas were in the original order? What was the original price of each pizza? And what did they charge per slice? I've seen this question many times in the test paper and therefore I feel important to share it with my students, right? Now, so look at it. It's a simple question, but still you can make some mistakes. And if you know it, you save time in your test. So there are two advantages, huge, right? Now, how to do these kinds of questions? A football booster bought pizza for $900 to sell at the game. So let's say number of pizzas bought is X. Okay, so, so that's the first thing we write. Let the number of pizza bought equals to X. Okay, now if that is the thing, then the cost price is 900 over X and the selling price is 1040 over how many sold. 10 pizzas to feed the players were left and rest were sold. So, so this is the number of pizzas bought and pizzas sold is how much? Sold is X minus 10. Is it okay? So, so we have cost price, selling price and the difference between them is, is how much? So their profit was 50 cents a slice. Okay. And there were eight slices in each pizza. So the profit actually is, we can write profit is how much? So profit is actually 50 cents per slice. That is 50 cents. We can write like this per slice, right? And uh, since there are eight slices, so it is eight times 0 0.50, right? Which is dollar four per pizza is it okay so that's the profit for this correct so profit is selling price over cost price so they sold it for 1040 therefore the selling price is 1040 and how many did this so x minus 10 and the cost price is 900 dollars for x amount of pizzas right and the per pizza the profit is four dollars so we write this so that becomes our equation to solve is that okay do you understand it that is how we get equation for such type of questions now we will multiply all these numbers by the common denominator which is x times x minus 10 so if you do so we get x times 1040 so let me write this as 1040x minus 900 times it is good to write first in brackets okay and then open it that minus can make changes do you see that equals to four times x times x minus 10 it's okay now we'll solve it so when you open the bracket okay 1040x minus 900x plus 9000 and that plus is important right many times i've seen a mistake here itself equals to 4x squared minus 40x. Now let's bring all the terms on one side and rewrite our equation. So I'm taking all this to the right side. So I'm writing 0 equals to 4x squared and then uh, so we can write minus 1040x. I should have combined them. Let me combine them later. Minus becomes plus 900x and uh, minus 40x and this is minus 9000 okay so that is it which is equal to so we'll take four common also okay or we'll take it later so we can just combine all these three terms 140x plus this so 180 minus minus of 1080 plus 900 will give us 9000 so let me add them up okay so we have 1040 plus 40 minus 900. 
Okay, so that gives us minus 180. So we have 4x square minus 180x minus 9000. Okay, so let me take it on this side to solve them further. So let me push it a bit here. Okay, so we can factor out 4 from here and then factor this equation. So we have 0 equals to 4 times x squared. So I'm dividing this by 4, all these numbers, and you get 180 divided by 4 equals to 45x minus 9000 divided by 4, okay, divided by 4 equals to 2250. And now you can use quadratic formula right here at this stage and find the value of x, right? Or you can either factor it. If you factor it, 2250 is kind of a difficult factor, so you can use quadratic formula. Anyway, I factored it and I found that the factors are x plus 30 times x minus 75. And you can use quadratic formula to find the value of x. You get two different values. Now this is 0 when x is minus 30. But x cannot be minus 30, right? We are talking about a situation where everything should be positive. So the solution is the number of pizza could be only 75. So we have x equals to 75 as our solution. Correct? So that is how many pizzas were in the original order. So there were 75 pizzas in the original order. So we got one part. What was the original price of each pizza? Now to find original price of each pizza, what are we going to do? So we will do, that is the original price of each piece, right? Which is, so original price, let me write cost price is equals to 900 divided by 75, right? Which is 12. So it's dollar 12, okay, each piece, okay? Now, what did they charge per slice? So the amount Per pizza they charge is 1040 divided by x minus 10. So per slice, so we say selling price per slice will be how much? Will be actually 1040 divided by 8 times x minus 10. Because in one pizza they slice it, they had 8 slices, right? So if I plug in 75 here, it becomes 10 times 74, I mean, 75 minus 10 is 65, so we get 1040 divided by, within brackets, 8 times 65, right? And we get $2, so that is $2, right? So they charge $2 per slice when they sold the pizza, all right? And the cost price for each pizza was $10, okay? Have a good look at it, and I hope you understand how we did all the three parts of this question. It's a very important question. Try to understand it and do it yourself. Thank you.